LinkedIn's commercial use limit is a nightmare. And if it hasn't happened to you yet, it might. You're minding your own business, doing lots of searches on LinkedIn, maybe to find new sales leads, and then boom, LinkedIn says, we're sorry, you searched too much. And now we're just gonna show you three search results instead of hundreds of search results for mm, the rest of the calendar month, unless you buy the premium plan. Good luck. And you're like, what? How do you get around the commercial use limit without having to buy premium? In this video, I'm gonna briefly describe what counts towards the limit and what doesn't count towards it, cause that's important. And then I'm gonna give you different hacks. Yes, different hacks, cause don't you deserve a variety of hacks? And stick till the end for a power tip that'll really help you leverage this network that you're building on LinkedIn. It starts right now. Hey, I'm Brooke Miles. I'm a social media strategist in Delaware. And no matter where you live, if you are a small business owner or entrepreneur or marketer, I'm here to give you practical strategies so you can create a social media program that gives you results and that you can be proud of. Now let's talk about this commercial use limit. LinkedIn won't tell you exactly what this limit is, which is infuriating, but it will tell you that it's based on how many searches you run and then how many profiles you open, especially profiles of people you're not already connected to. Here's what specifically counts towards the limit. First of all, searches you do on LinkedIn.com and the LinkedIn mobile app where you're using keywords and filters. For instance, if I'm searching for a chemical engineer, I'll see a bunch of results here. This would count towards a search if I click on filters and then maybe narrow it down to the greater Philadelphia area and do other filters like that and show the results. That counts towards the search. Also what counts is if you're browsing profiles on a company page. So let's go to DuPont as an example. And then I browse the employees, that counts towards the search as well. So it also counts as if you're on someone's profile and then you go to people also viewed and start browsing people through here. It's also possible that if you're running LinkedIn searches through some third party app, so these searches are happening in the background, that can also count towards the search limit. Now let's talk about what doesn't count towards the limit. If you're on someone's profile and instead of looking at people also viewed, you go down to people you may know. Browsing that doesn't count. Also, if you browse your first degree connections, if it's through the connections page. So for example, if you go to my network and then connections, if you do this, that you're totally fine. Also, if you type someone's name directly in the search bar, it doesn't count. You can also search for as many jobs as you want on LinkedIn. They're not gonna stop you there. Now let's talk about hacks. And the first one brings Google into the equation. Now, if you're looking for a particular title at a particular company, but you need to narrow it down, this hack is really good. Here's what you do. You put in quotation mark, then the title, let's do chemical engineer, space, dash, space, then the company, and quotation mark, space, LinkedIn. Okay, you got that? Now you've done a search in LinkedIn, but not really in LinkedIn. Now you can click on any one of these profiles and find out more. This next hack I call the right click trick. That sounds a little obscene. I don't mean it that way. This is a pretty good hack that works if you're looking for something different than maybe just title and company. And it's going to help you get around part of the limit, but not all of it, but it's still, it will help you. Pretend you're just doing a regular search again. So let's say in this case, we wanna be more specific. We're looking for second degree connections who are in the greater Philadelphia area, who previously worked at Merck. Let's quickly show the results. Okay, I have 41 results here. Instead of clicking on the particular member with a left click, go ahead and right click and then click on open link and new tab. And now you'll see if you click on here, you're going into the profile. So technically you didn't click on the profile from the search. Now another way you could do this is have a second tab open and you can go ahead and type that person's name in here, but that really works better if the person has an unusual name. But if you wanna type in a common name, you have to do it a little differently. For instance, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law are Bill Smith and Jennifer Smith. So if I wanna find Bill Smith on LinkedIn, I think I would type in the new Castle County Board of Realtors. And now I would specifically get him. Another cool hack is leveraging topics by hashtags. Now I know some of you avoid hashtags like the plague and I totally get it. You don't like hashtags, they seem really weird, but trust me, this hack is really cool. So let's say you wanna search for people who are interested in a particular topic, maybe because they're in the same field. Let's search for a hashtag related to that field. So in this case, let me put in chemical engineering with the hashtag. Now you see a post right here and it has chemical engineering in it. Click on that. Now click on chemical engineering down here. And now you'll see all the posts that have chemical engineering. What I'm talking about here is looking at the people who are engaging with these posts. 
For instance, if you look at this one right here, you'll see that there are 31 people who liked it and there are nine comments. Let's click on the 31. And now you can see all the people who are responding to that particular post. Then click on their profile and check them out. This next hack has to do with the search URL and it makes LinkedIn think you're opening up fewer search pages than you really are. So let's do this again. We're gonna type in chemical engineer. That's our theme for the day. Now let's say you've gone through this page and you look through it and it looks fine. Instead of going down here and pressing two, three, four, five, et cetera, et cetera, which again is gonna be search page after search page after search page. Instead, go to the URL at the very, very top and you see the all caps letters, the in this case it says cluster expansion, but yours might say search, it might say header. Go ahead and type this in. You're gonna type in the and sign, page, equals, and then whatever page you wanna to go to. So if I wanna to go to page two, I'll type in two and press enter. Now we're on page two. Now if I wanna to go to page three, I can type in three, and so on. Now for the power tip. I know we're talking about how to make sure LinkedIn doesn't get in the way of you building your network with all these new people, but remember, you have first degree connections too, who are semi warmed up to you in some way. It's a lot easier to get sales and referrals by building relationships and gaining trust with the people who are already in your system than to constantly add new ones. So please keep that in mind. And please check out this video in the top right corner. We talk about LinkedIn company pages versus profiles and where you should put your efforts to really get the most out of LinkedIn because your time is precious. Thanks and see you in the next video.